when I finally sat down to figure out what my 2021 comic book collecting goals are going to be, I kept questioning myself, what's the point of even collecting comic books? Hey YouTube, it's Matt here. This is the 2021 post-Christmas pre-New Year's Day reflection on my comic book collection. Now I just did a 2021 review video last week and guys I showed an amazing amount of books that I had acquired in the year 2021. Now that actually kind of really had me thinking of what my next goal is going to be for 2022. Now, before I get there, I want to show a couple little things here, okay? I ended up getting an AOK -okay from a great YouTuber, the Jackson Roy Kirk. Now, the Jackson Roy Kirk is such an awesome dude. Uh, he has an amazing channel, and he is definitely a Star Trek fan. Now, one of the things he sent me, he sent me this really dope mouse pad, this Marvel uh, mouse pad. I love this. This is definitely going to be going to work. And Jackson gets me. He knows that I am a Conan fan. And he sent me two audio tapes from the 1970s. This album, or this CD has uh, the Tower of the Elephant and the Frost Giant's Daughter on this. Those are two Conan and Barbarian stories. And then this one here, I'm kind of really excited. This has the Jewel of the Ages, Shadow of the Stolen City, the Thunder Dust, and the Crawler and the Mist all on this. Uh, CD right here. I'm going to be plugging that into the car stereo and listening to it on my travels. And another little thing that I wanted to highlight was my wife got me this super dope Funko Pop Captain America Stan Lee. So guys, those are some of my Christmas items that I got. But let's get back to this list, okay? Now, it's... I really feel that some things in life are just providence, okay? Some people come into your life and they come in at the exact right time that you need them to be there. Now, I was sitting here trying to figure out what my goals for 2022 are going to be. I knew that they were going to be a lot different than what 2021. I do feel very strongly that in life, not just comic book collecting, but in life, you should set goals for yourself and have the steps you need in order to accomplish your goals. There's a difference between goals and dreams, okay? Dreams are things that we wish we could do someday, but we never set out to have a plan. Goals to me are ideas that you want to do, but you have the plan in place. A video that I got to watch this morning, and I was talking about certain people come into your life at certain points and it's just perfect timing. Master and Madam Blaster put out a video this morning and they had a lot of really good things on here. They have such a fun channel. That's another fun YouTube channel. I'll put the link to the Jackson Roy Kirk and Master and Madam Blaster's YouTube channels in the description. But one of the things that they were showing, they were showing a gun that they had. And I, it was amazing that Master Blaster pulled out this exact type of leather pistol case. Now guys, listen, uh, this is a, a German military, World War II military uh, equipment. I'm not into the German military thing. This actually comes, I do appreciate military history, military uh, equipment, but there's a story behind this pistol, okay? This pistol was given to me for my grandfather. Now, my grandfather, he's one of those cats in my life, okay? Kind of like Master and Madam Blaster. He just, he seemed to come my life at the right time. Now, make sure that it's not loaded. You guys can see, empty barrel. But, just a really cool pistol. This is a Walther P38. Now, how this came into possession of my grandfather was, again, he was in World War II. And I talked about him a little bit in one, one video. 
But this guy was very influential in my life. And I'll let me tell you a little bit of his accomplishments, and then I'll tell you why he was influential in my life. Now, you talk about World War II. This guy was in the 1st Infantry Division, okay? He was in North Africa, and he was fighting, you know, uh, the Germans and the Italians in North Africa. He eventually was in the invasion of Sicily. He was actually pulled out of his 1st Infantry Division, attached to another unit. His company was pulled out of the division, attached to another division. He was in the amphibious assault on mainland Italy. Got pulled out of there, shipped up to uh, Great Britain for six months, preparing for the D-Day invasion. He was one of those guys that invaded Normandy on December 6, 1944. He was a part of the breakout. He was part of the Battle of the Bulge. He fought all the way through Germany into Czechoslovakia, helped liberate concentration camps. That, I, I tell you that like I know that, but guys, that took me years of talking to this man before I ever actually started to put these pieces together of what actually happened in World War II. My point is, the gentleman was extremely humble. He never bragged about himself. He never talked about himself. In fact, the war, he really didn't talk about it. He would talk about certain things of the war. I remember uh, in Italy, uh, people would have these big bags of cheese that he, he found out that he absolutely loved it. and he would talk about that type of stuff but he didn't talk about any of the actual combat or anything like that so it took me years to get this kind of information out of him and whenever i saw a master blaster now he actually had a luger this is a p38 um it was the exact same case okay but in getting back more of my grandfather the guy was a chemist. I mean, he graduated high school, went off, he was drafted, went off for World War II. He never went to college and he worked as a chemist. Okay, like that is not something that I think is very easy. He was actually the creator of multiple patents, uh, chemistry patents, that he didn't actually own the patents of. It was the company that he worked for that owned a patent. But guys, if you drove a Cadillac in the 60s, 70s, 80s, there's a really high chance that he is the one who created the leather that you were sitting on in your Cadillac, okay? The guy was an amazing human being. He owned businesses. But my point is this. He was humble. And he, he never bragged. Um, I, trust me, I heard all kinds of stories about him. But I heard them from other people. Uh, and my point where I'm coming across with this, okay? Master Blaster showing this. And Madam Blaster looking at that Luger made me think about this. And then they went on to my 2022 comic book goal for the year. And this video, I'm going to talk about it. Last year, last year I had five items, okay? Four of them were books in the bottom one. I don't know if you can see my horrible uh, chicken scratch, 1,000 subs. I was able to accomplish that. But guys, I started looking at this crazy amount of books cgc books and there was a lot of raw books and there was other stuff that i didn't even show okay my point is this i was getting so many actual things last year I and mean, i don't want to be that person i don't i you know i don't feel like what i own is makes me any better or any worse than anybody else and as i was going through that there was this part of me that was like dude really you're just showing off more books showing off more books I want to be more well-rounded in that. And I'm going to be honest with you. I, in the last year or two, I am without a doubt a reader. Okay, that's what got me into comic books. But in the last year or two, I have been more of a collector than I have been a reader. So this year, I still have a larger goal list. Okay, I'm waving it so you can't see it, Tina. All right, but I have a larger goal list of books that I still want to pick up. And maybe I will someday. But not in 2022, unless there is just something that just, it's a target of opportunity, I might, you know, strike on it. But this year, I am going to double down on my own collection. I have read Amazing Spider-Man up to almost issue 400, okay? But that might have been 15 years ago. Um, I was in Afghanistan the last time I was reading ASM, so I, yeah, it's been a while, okay? And my, anyhow, 
I want to start on issue number one, and I've already started. I started with AF15, and I've read issue one, and I'm starting from scratch. But my goal is to finish the entire ASM run before the year clicks over to 2023. I also, I still want to send some books off to CGC. I do want to improve my collection. I want to take some higher dollar or higher value books, send them off to CGC. Some people say, hey, you know, it's good to keep them raw. I am a firm believer that if the book might be worth some money, it's better to have it graded because then you can convert that book off to cash a lot easier because I collect for myself because without a doubt, I know what the end game, the cameraman, he's eventually going to have my collection. Now, is he going to be a comic book collector or collector? Is he going to be a comic book collector when he does get these comic books? Or is he going to want to flip them? And I want to make sure that my collection isn't just my collection. I want to make sure that my family and my loved ones will be able to benefit from my enjoyment, my personal hobby. Hopefully that's a long time from now. But I definitely feel very strongly about that. Especially the way I read comic books. I read them digitally. So... I love the floppies, I love reading them, but I have a hard time justifying keeping a book in a raw status if the value of that book is climbing. So guys, without a doubt, thank you, Master Blatter. <laughs> thank you, Master Blaster and Madam Blaster for showing me that the, the item that honestly made me do some self-reflection of today. Guys, I appreciate you. But my goal for 2022 is to be more humble and get back to what I actually like about comic book collecting. I'm still going to keep my pull list. I'm not going to, I'm not getting zero books this year, but I have zero desire to go out and get some of the big books and definitely zero desire to get any of the books that are on my list right here. So guys, you know, maybe 2023, I might get back on, you know, trying to track books down. But this year, it's just about enjoying the hobby. And if I finish up with ASM, I'm going to get back into reading some more of those series that I've kind of let slide over the years. All right, guys, I hope you like this content. I hope you like this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Guys, I want to thank you for watching and everybody have a great day.